Sime Reader, Crowsong, and today I will be reading to you from Stars and Moonflowers in Our Garden by Rainbow Star underscore 772. That's me! Now, on to Chapter 26, Cleaned Cups and Cleaning Supplies. America looked at the now empty cup of tea beside his hand and hummed to himself. Russia had left for his classes not too long ago. He enjoyed Russia's presence quite a bit, and he realized that having him around more often would not allow for his crush on the other to go away. But he couldn't bring himself to really mind. The other's presence was nice and calming to him, so he felt he could learn to live with the feelings, as trying to distance himself from the other would hurt a lot more. And it wouldn't just hurt him. It'd probably hurt Russia just as much, if not more. So he'd find a way to cope with the feelings and crush, and he'd hope the feelings wouldn't get more intense. He could learn to live with them if they stayed the way they were, though it would be a lot easier for him if those feelings died down or calmed, but he would likely not be getting any such mercy. Getting such a mercy was almost impossible, as the feelings dying down would only happen if they separated. He found himself unwilling to do that because of how much it hurt Russia, especially since he wouldn't be able to explain to the other why he was choosing to avoid him. It would probably hurt him even more because he'd be asking Russia to not come and without any explanation. So, he'd learned to live with them. It was the less painful option for both himself and Russia. He cared too much about the other to do that. He couldn't hurt Russia like that and be okay with it. If he did, he wouldn't be able to live with himself. He shook his head of the thought and grabbed the empty mug Russia had left in there earlier. It'd probably do him good to leave his office for a bit. As he left, he put a little note to say that he was out and then closed the door. So he navigated slowly, finding his way to the kitchen of the castle. Once he was there, he went to the sink. He cleaned the mug happily, humming a little. Once it was properly cleaned, he dried it before setting to search for the cabinet, which it should be put in. It took him a couple minutes to find the cabinet that it belonged in, as he almost never found himself in the area. He'd been told he was welcome to do as he pleased there by Soviets, but didn't feel comfortable doing so. Thus, he didn't really know the layout that well. But he didn't exactly have time to linger on that, as he really should get back to his office so that he could work out what to do next. He was on the clock for a few more hours, after all. As he made his way back to his office, he tried to consider what he could do when he got there. Reorganization? Not necessary. He could easily access all of the things necessary for any treatments he regularly needed to do, and those that were rarer were also easily accessible. Plus, he knew where everything was and how to reach things he needed now, so changing it wouldn't be beneficial. He'd cleaned earlier, but doing so a second time wouldn't hurt. So, unless he could think of something better to do, he'd be cleaning up his office again. He wished he could think of something more productive to do with his time, but he couldn't really think of anything. He'd gone to the other healers earlier, and they were grateful for his help, but had everything handled. He sighed, deciding he'd check in with them again and see if he could help. It'd be more productive and a good use of his time, so he figured why not. If his help wasn't needed or wanted, he'd go to his office and clean. So he passed by his office, going into the office of one of the head healers. He saw them and walked over to their desk. If he could help in any way, they'd know. Hey, Holly, just wanted to ask if there's anything I can do to help you or the others right now. He said, putting a bit of bounce in his step. 
nope, we have everything handled. If anything, things are a bit slow right now. The experienced healer responded to him with a small hum. America felt sufficiently deflated at hearing this, as it meant that he'd be cleaning the office again, which was redundant. He'd already done so earlier. Well, thanks. I'll be headed to my office. Come get me if that changes, yeah? He said, giving Holly a smile as he turned to the door to leave. Of course. With that, America left the office and closed the door behind him. He then started back to his own office, which he supposed he'd be cleaning up again. It felt stupid. It was already very clean. What was the point of this? Before he went back into the office, he grabbed the note he'd put on the door and crumpled it up, throwing it away. Then headed over to one of the cabinets in his office. He knew it had the supplies he'd need to clean up his office. He grabbed the wipes, a spray cleaner, some paper towels, and a couple other things and set to recleaning his office. He started with the areas he expected to be the most dirty. The ones that were touched by many people. The door handle, his desk, his medicine table. He wiped them all down carefully with his supplies that he deemed fit for each surface. Then he moved on to the next surface, spending an adequate amount of time on each thing he was cleaning. He was still cleaning when he heard someone open the door to his office and come in. He recognized them before they even said anything. It was Russia. He was glad... It was starting to get a bit boring, being alone and cleaning. He was excited to hear about whatever Russia felt like talking about. Even if he didn't feel like talking, his presence was nice and good enough for him. Though he did find himself hoping Russia would have something to talk about. But in any case, he was happy to have the other in the room with him. That's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time, and I will see you tomorrow.